A new add-in was introduced in FeatureCam 2015 R3 that allowed FeatureCam to support turning heads. These are special tool holders that can turn when used on a milling machine, such as those from D'Andrea in Italy. Since its introduction, development has continued and FijiCam can now support much more complex simulation models, representing the heads as tool blocks within the MD file and allowing access to those via the tool mapping in the FijiCam milling document. In this case, uh, we can see we've got the, uh, the Dandrea head model has been loaded into our MD file. This particular MD file is representing a Doosan Minx 5400 machine. Now what we want to do is uh, just highlight a couple of things within this machine design file. Uh, first thing is to just go to the solid list and we can see we've got the Dandrea head obviously uh, loaded here. We've got an additional solid called the U-slide. So this is the, the part that the turning tool will mount to and slide uh, in, the, in the X direction uh, to allow us to machine around the profile. Now under the machine settings you can see we've got the basic kinematics of the 3-axis machine. Um, what we want to do is actually include the, the Dandrea head uh, and the U-slide as uh, a parent-child relationship but without placing them in the basic machine structure. So we do this just by going to the machine design and into the parent-child relationship we select the, the Dandrea head itself and then we can select either the slide from the CAD or from the list of solids and we set up this as being the parent and this as being the child. In addition to this, we also want to set a, uh, a movement for this particular component as well. So we can do this via the machine design, specify movement, and in this case you can see the U slide has got a moves delta X already set. Once we set that up, we can then uh, add this as a tool block. So in the tool block area, we can go and we can set a tool block, in this case, uh, for this particular solid and once we've done that we can set tool locations just as we would have done in traditional uh, turn mill files so in this case I can set a, uh, a particular tool location uh, for a sub slot and if I choose edit you can see here we've got the lathe tools uh, indicating those are the mounting points uh, for each of our, our tool types. So once we've set up our machine design file we can then go to the FM file and in this case, in the FM file, what we're going to do is just to show that we can uh, represent the Dandrea head uh, in the simulation. Now note, I've already got a turning head feature pre-created. Uh, if you want to access this, of course, you'll need an advanced mill turn license. And if I go to my add-ins area, you can see here that we've got the turning head uh, DLL already loaded. And this comes via the library under the user-defined features area. So once we've got that we can create the feature, so you can see here I've got a roughing and a finishing operation, each using the same uh, same tool, in this case a 35 degree diamond tool, uh, and I've given it a, a suffix of uh, turn head just to indicate this is the tool I want to use. So to set that in the file itself we go to the tool mapping, we can select the tool, and then uh, from that tool you can see we get select block is enabled, uh, and if I select the block we can go and select the Dandrea head uh, as our block to use uh, using that number one main subslot. So we can see Dandrea head is now being used, say OK. If I then go to my machine simulation, click on a single step, you can see we get the milling tool, so we can cut that slot at the top, and then you can see that Dandrea head is brought in. And if I run through, in this case just single stepping, you can see that slide moving as we cut the part. So we can work our way down through the component to finish the roughing and then come in and do the finishing operation to finish the component.